More news from India. A batch of more than 3,000 pilgrims on Wednesday left for the Amarnath Cave Shrine in India's Kashmir amid heavy security. The Hindu pilgrimage resumed on Tuesday, a day after terrorists opened fire at a bus carrying pilgrims, killing seven of them in an attack. Two days after the terror attack on pilgrims, a batch of 3,744 pilgrims, the largest so far, left for the Amarnath Cave Shrine in India's Kashmir amid heavy security on Wednesday. Devotees remained unfazed by the militant attack and broke into loud chants hailing Lord Shiva and danced as they set out for the pilgrimage. The pilgrims were accompanied by heavily armed police and security personnel. On Monday, seven pilgrims were killed and 12 wounded in the firing by militants on their bus near the town of Anantnag. Meanwhile, India's senior ministers visited the pilgrims' camp in Srinagar city of Indian Kashmir to assess the situation. No, you see, government is making its own assessment. The security agencies have their own way of doing things, and I think we should leave it to the to the to the wisdom of the experts. They are drawing their inferences, and depending upon whatever inferences they draw, the political establishment will take a call and provide all kind of uh, support to them. A search is on for a lashkar e taiba operative called Muhammad Abu Ismail, who is believed to have planned and led Monday's terror attack. Reports suggest that Ismail, a Pakistani national infiltrated into India about two years ago and has been operating in South Kashmir.